Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the premium version of Malwarebytes. We did test the free version a couple months ago, but the big difference between the free and the premium is this right here, the real-time protection, which we will be testing today. Please note there are a couple additional features you do get with the premium. If I come up here to settings and then select security, if we go down the list, first off the automatic quarantine is part of the premium. But that's of course part of the real-time protection. If I scroll down to the bottom, the brute force protection, which is useful if you use remote desktop protocol, is available as well as the exploit protection, though it's only available for Outlook. Now we will be sticking with default settings with one exception. I'm going to go ahead and turn on scan for rootkits. And then at this point, we'll go ahead and close this window. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. We have 154 samples in total. And so this is our complete list. And so because we're testing only the real-time protection, we will be doing things a little bit differently. First off, we're going to turn on the real-time protection and let it sit for just a moment to see if it detects anything on its own. So at this point, let's go ahead and turn this on. After turning on the real-time protection, I've waited a few moments and nothing's popped up so far. Let's check our samples folder. And it looks like all 154 are still here. So at this point, what we're going to do is copy all of these samples and put them in this copy folder to see if that sets off any alarms. And it looks like copying them over did not set off any alarm bells. You'll, you will notice that it did drop down to 154, but I think that's because I accidentally double clicked on one. And so at this point, we're going to go ahead and close this copy. We're going to delete the copy. And we're going to try executing some of these files. Now I'm not going to execute every single one uh, just because if there's so many. So I'm just going to select some random ones and see if the real-time protection can stop them. I've executed several of the samples and you'll notice we're now down to 134. So at this point, again, because we're focusing on the real-time protection and not the scan feature, which we already tested in the free version video, I'm going to go ahead and delete the samples folder and then we will empty the recycle bin. And then I'm going to restart the computer and then do a scan with Malwarebytes to see if anything got through. After a reboot, I ran a scan and it came back clean with zero results detected. I also ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean with zero results detected. In this specific test with these specific samples, Malwarebytes real-time protection stopped all of the samples that I tried to execute. Again, please note we only tested the real-time protection and not the system scanning feature because we already did that in the video of the free version of Malwarebytes. However, I will be posting a member-only video where I test both the system scanning and the real-time protection. And so if you'd like to view that video, go ahead and hit that join button. And it's a great way to support the channel. You can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.